Hey everyone, it's Janet from Yoga with Janet. And today I'm going to take you through a flow that I am calling Camel Love. So basically our heart is this place that we feel from and our throat, the place that we speak from and just very much these areas of expression. And so Camel uh, Posture works to open up these centers and to create a little bit of spaciousness, freedom and expression. Okay, so we are going to start in downward facing dog. No time to waste. So the first few moments of the practice are this acknowledgement that you are going to slow down. And so this is what I want you to do is to create heat in the body through being still. And create focus through being still. Spread the fingers, anchor the inner palms, and then squeeze the upper outer arms in. Again, take a little bend into the knees if that feels good, and then lift the tailbone high. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Center the left foot, lift the right leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip, and just take a couple circles with the knee. Just juicing into the hips. Release the right foot down. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip. Little circles. You choose the direction. And then release. Rise onto the toes and tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. And exhale, fold. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Feeling the space created as you stack one vertebrae on top of the other. Bring the hands into the heart. And again, this acknowledgement that you are slowing down and being present with every breath, every movement. Inhale, interlace the hands, elbows wide. Exhale, press the palms forward and round through the back. Good. Lift up, 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 out of the hips and open the front of the body. Good. Interlace the hands behind the back. Punch the fist down, lift the chest. And then fold belly to thighs. Little lift of the tailbone. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. And release the hands now. Breathe in, halfway lift. Step the right foot back. Lower the knee. Good. Point the toes, sweep the arms up. Good. Stack the hips on top of the back knee and shoulders above the hips. Grab the left or grab the right wrist with the left hand. Firm the left hip under and then reach up and over to the side. Side body stretch. We're working into the sides of the heart. And then slowly circle all the way down. Frame the front foot. Take a half split. Flex the toes. Take the heart forward. And fold. And deep breath in. And out. And bend the knee. Plant the hands. Tuck the back toes. Lift the knee. And then step to plank. And then you can take plank on your knees as well. Draw the tailbone down. Press up and away, and then as slowly as you can, lower all the way to the belly, resisting as you go down. Point the toes, lift the chest, cobra, forehead to the mat. Really firm the elbows in. Shoulders squeeze to the spine, shoulder blades squeeze to the spine. 
forehead to the mat. One more. Inhale, lift. And release. Good. Press the hips to the heels. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Sometimes my words don't come out how I plan. Inhale. And exhale. And center the left foot. Lift the right leg high. And draw your knee into your chest. Step through. Lower the back knee. Point the toes. Sweep the arms up. Grab the left wrist with your right hand, and then up and over to the right. Squeeze the right hip under. Roll the right shoulder forward and feel that side of the body, side of the heart, the ribs, waist, hip expansion. Good. Circle the hands all the way down, and then straighten your right leg, half split. You can always keep that little micro bend so that you can pull the heart forward through the shoulder. One more breath. And then bend your knee. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Feeling every sensation. Hands to heart. Inhale, interlace hands, elbows Why? Press the palms forward and round the back. Lift, stretch out of the hips, expand the heart to the ceiling. And then interlace hands behind the back. Draw the shoulder heads back. Squeeze shoulder blades to spine and fold belly to thighs. Release the head. And lower the hands. Step your left foot back. Take a little runner's lunge option to use the blocks here. Uh, take a deep bend, heart forward, and then straighten. Movements of lunge. Inhale, we bend, and exhale, right sit bone back, fold. One more, bend, and straight. Bend into the knee, plant the left hand down, reach your right arm up. Easy twist. Stay here or spin all 10 toes to the right. Good. An option to come into reverse skandasana, lower the hips, reach your right arm back. So you get that stretch into the side of the waist. One more breath here. And then reach your right arm up and over. Good. Step back to plank. Actively press away, always the option to come to the knees. This time we lower just to chaturanga. Squeeze the elbows by the waist, shoulder heads draw back. Upward facing dog. Spread the chest, squeeze shoulder blades to the spine. Downward facing dog. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. Center the right foot, lift the left leg high, inhale. And draw your knee to your chest, squeeze, step between the hands. Fingertips or blocks, inhale, heart forward. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more. Rebend. Plant the right hand down. Reach your left arm to the ceiling. Easy twist. Spin all ten toes to the left for a little supported side plank. An option to lower the hips. Reach the left arm back. Reverse skandasana. Draw the right shoulder blade down the spine. Good. Reach the left arm up and over. And then step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Good. Bring your feet together. We're going to move into side bending and a standing back bend. Reach your arms above your head. Steeple grip. Release your index finger. Cross your thumbs. And squeeze the legs. Lift up. And then hips to the left. Bend over towards the right. Roll the right shoulder forward. Left hip forward. 
Squeeze the legs together and squeeze the arms in towards your skull. Come all the way back up. Inhale, grow tall. Hips to the right, bend over to the left. Roll the left shoulder forward, right hip forward. And pull the right arm with your left hand to work into the side of the heart. Slowly come all the way up. Inhale. Release the hands to your lower back. Fingers point up if available or down. And take the feet hip width distance apart. And then squeeze the elbows behind you so the shoulder blades draw to the midline. Lift the chest. Squeeze the elbows. Good, and find that standing back bend. You can release the head if it feels good without collapsing the neck. Elongate all four sides of the neck. And then slowly lift all the way up and fold belly to the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. And step back to plank and travel through your flow. Lower chaturanga, elbows squeeze in. Hug the armpits and then upward facing. Spread the chest, draw the shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the knees, point the toes, and lift your arms up. And we're going to a little bit of camel prep. Gonna get a little bit nasty. Draw the tailbone under. Nothing moves except the knees hinging, so we're not coming into any back bend. Slowly lean back, feel the thighs work, and lift. So this is like robbing a bank style, the lasers, you know. Lean back. A lot of people say it's like Matrix, but I've never seen that movie. Lean back. Three. Two more. Lean back for two. Shoulders drop back. Last one. Lean back and hold. Reach your arms above your head. You have one line. Tailbone under. Three, lean back more, two. I love three, two, ones. Lift all the way up. Release the hands, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale fully and exhale completely. This should feel quite nice. Center the left foot, lift your right leg. Bend the knee, open the hip. Good little circle and then draw your knee into your chest. Step between the hands. Back heel down, warrior one, rise. Good, and then sink into the front thigh, knee on top of ankle, and lift the back inner knee. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Punch the fists down, open the chest, and then fold inside of your right leg. Humble warrior. Inhale. And exhale. Release your hands down. Lift the back heel. Left hand down. Right arm up. Easy twist. Good. And then spin all ten toes to the right. And this time side plank. Step your right foot back on top of the left. Roll the right hip forward. Look up. Right hand down. Inhale, find length. Lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Center the right foot. Lift your left leg high. Bend the knee. Open the hip. And then draw the knee to your chest. Step between the hands. Back heel down for warrior one. 45 degrees and then reach your arms up. An option to press the palms. Drive the left knee forward, but lift the lower belly so there's space in the front of the hip. Inhale. And exhale. Interlace the hands behind the back. Punch the fist down, open the chest, and then fold inside of 
your left leg. Firm the left hip in and draw the shoulders away from the ears so your back is engaged. And release the hands, lift the back heel. Right hand down, left arm up, easy twist. And spin all 10 toes to the left, side plank, left foot back. Good, lift the hips, roll the top hip forward. Look up, inhale, and left hand down, lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, two, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and full breath out. We move on, left leg centers, lift your right leg high, inhale. And draw your knee to your chest, step between the hands. Lower the back knee. Sweep your right hand back, find the stretch. Squeeze the heel towards the bum. Open the right chest. You can always just squeeze if you can't find the foot. One more breath. And then release. And place the back heel down. Warrior two, open. Bend the knee. Look forward. Flip the front palm, reverse. Reach up and back. But then you can straighten your right leg just because it feels good. And then re-bend. We come into half moon. Plant the right hand forward. About a foot, lift your left leg. And now you can stay here and reach the arm up or bend the knee and find the foot. Spin the chest open, inhale, Good. and then release the foot, half moon. Step back, warrior two, breath in. Windmill the arms down, frame the front foot, left hand down, right arm up, take that easy twist, spin the toes to the right. But this time we move through side plank, right foot comes behind the left thigh, and then lift the hips, wild thing. Good. Lower the hips, right hand down, lift and lengthen. Good. Come forward into your plank, one-legged or foot down. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg, bend the knee, open the hip, and then draw your knee to your chest, step through. Back knee down, sweep the left hand back, find the foot, and give it a little stretch into the quad. Right hip forward, spin the chest open. And then slowly release, warrior two. Place that back heel down and open. Bend into the left thigh and flip the front palm, reverse, reach up, and back, and then straighten the leg because it feels nice, and bend the knee, left hand comes forward of the foot, lift your right leg. So we're in half moon, left hand under the shoulder, and you can reach your right arm to the ceiling, option to grab the foot for chapasana, finding the ankle, and continuing with that nice stretch. Good, half moon, release the foot and the arm. Step back, warrior two, find stability. Windmill the arms down, right hand down, left arm up, take a breath in. Good, and then 10 toes to the left. We swing the left foot past, side plank behind the right ankle, lift the hips, reach the left arm up and back. And then slowly, left hand down, left leg up, three-legged dock. Come forward, plank or one-legged plank, lower, chaturanga, upward facing to downward facing dock. Inhale and exhale. And slowly lower to the knees, point the toes, and lift onto your shins. Time for that camel. Happy hump day. Okay, here we go. 
You're gonna take the hands to the lower back, fingers point up, squeeze the elbows in, open the chest. The hips stay directly on top of the knees so they're not gonna go back. You keep the eyes of the hips open, lift the sternum, lift the sternum. We'll stay here for this first round. Hug the outer hips in, elbows in. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And out. Slowly lift all the way up and sit onto your heels. Just take a little breather. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do one more round. Right into the camel, point the toes. Bring your hands to your lower back. Lift the chest, squeeze the elbows in. Sternum lifts to ceiling, hips on top of knees. And you can stay or release the hands to the feet. Thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside, or vice versa. And press the hips forward, lift the sternum, and feel the stretch across the chest, the heart, the shoulders, the throat this emotional center, expressive place. One more breath, and then slowly lift back up, unraveling, and lower hips to heels, hands to thighs, and just notice any sensations around your center. Adrenaline, tingly, a tightness, whatever it is, it's okay. These feelings are meant to be felt. And slowly bring the legs forward and just come onto your back. We'll just do a little twist. Hands to the heart, knees into the chest. Good, and then over to one side, press your right shoulder down. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more. Come back to center, knees in the other direction. Press your left shoulder down. Inhale. Exhale, feeling that expansion and space across the chest. Knees to chest. And then coming into Shavasana. Take the feet wide, expand the chest and relax your limbs. And then notice the effects of the practice, especially the heart melting, expansive, expressive. You can stay here for as long as you're able to rest and feel and soak in the effects of this heart opening practice. Otherwise, hug your knees into your chest and just roll to the side. And slowly make your way up 
to a comfy seat. Grow tall through the spine. And just bring your hands into your heart, just acknowledging whatever you feel. Take a deep breath in and out. Bring the thumbs to the forehead and take a little bow, honoring your practice and where you're at today. Namaste. I hope you all have an amazing day and continue to find this space to express and feel and live a little bit more openly. Have a good day.